All right. So, welcome back. This is episode uh, three. We left the garden. Now we're in the sewers. Mm, this doesn't look like a sewer. This just looks like another ruin. Well, it's the water level. Okay. It's the sewer. Okay, so we get cute little frogs instead of people. Yeah, frogs are still holy water, but we got Beemos. Okay, which is just another whip. Well, it's a good weapon, though. Yeah, no, it looks decent. But for now, everybody's throwing boomerangs. Ah, man, they're just packing the enemies in. That's a good thing about this, is they've actually got some Castlevania-style difficulty while still being a Kirby game. Wait, was that a life from score? Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's very nice. But this game also gets a lot more difficult from here on in. Um, I'll bet. Wow. <laughs> that beam weapon's really useful against the uh, skull towers, which are honestly one of the more annoying uh, enemies from Castlevania. Yeah. Yeah. Being able to kill them all at once is not a bad thing. Yeah, and it's the only weapon that does that. Um, the pulse don't do that, and I don't think Sick of the Moon does that either. I don't think you can suck them in. Yeah, yeah, they usually are kind of immobile. Probably goes for a lot of the skeleton enemies. I think the Bone Towers are the only skeleton enemy we have, though. Uh, yeah. Which is weird. This is Castlevania. <laughs> There should be skeletons everywhere. And like weird skeletons, <laughs> these rifles or nuclear power or whatever. I don't know if you played some of the later Castlevania games, but the uh, skeleton enemies get a little bit esoteric. Really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I've played some of the newer ones, so... Yeah, no, Nova Skeleton. They sit there and they shoot like these lasers at you. It's ridiculous. Huh. And they got, like, the skeletons that try to jump kick you, and the skeletons that lose their heads, and they fall all over the place. But yeah, there could have been, like, Kirby skeletons, though. I guess Kirby doesn't really have a skeleton. Hey, he's just a blob, that's all he is. Okay. Well, he's probably all cartilage, like a shark. <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay. It's the Gigabone Tower. Uh, yeah, well, it's more like one of those giant skeleton heads on a stick. Skeletic? A skeletic, or, you know, the ones that are stuck to the walls, the little bone snakes. I think they're called bone huh. snakes. But, uh, it's got a pretty predictable pattern. He does, he does. Though, uh, keep getting hit by it. It really doesn't matter since you get all your health back after you win this one. Uh, sort of, yeah. You bet you ran out of hearts, though. It's gonna be tedious. <laughs> yeah, because the only way we can really get up now is with the puffs or the uh, whip. Eh, seems like the whip's gonna do more damage. It does, but the whip will only let you get one, maybe one to two hits in before it's out of range. Yeah, looks like you're using that um, puffball machine gun method I was thinking of. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Seems like a decent way to just lay down machine gun fire in this game. <laughs> well, at least he's almost dead, and I'm down to two pellets of health left. Hmm. One pellet of health, and he's gone. Oh, pose bonus. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Every game should have a pose bonus. That's the thing we learned from Smash Bros. Just have a button you press for posing, that's it. Well, that was block three. Next time, let's see, uh, oh, we're in the parapets. Deal it. This is a parapet? 